Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So a few weeks ago I reviewed the Mega Twin Shock. What a catastrophe of a blaster that was. But it wasn't the only Mega Blaster released in 2017. Or was it 2018? I think it was 2018. Yeah, it was 2018. No, no. There were two more, I believe. I have one of those two. That would be the Mega Tri Break. So lots of y'all know that I am heavily biased towards the Mega series just because I like big stupid gimmicks and there is no bigger stupider gimmick than shooting a big stupid gimmicky dart. And this is a three shot break action blaster that is very satisfying to do the break action with and looks pretty cool. How did it stand up? This is one of the most hated blasters ever made. And I mean, the concept is just bulletproof. I can't imagine why this thing was so hated. I'm just gonna stop. Let's start with the design. It looks cool. I think it looks fine. It looks like a nugget. It's hilarious looking. It's got a pretty big grip, this big black section in the middle that kind of looks serious, if you could call it that. Lots of little stripes and lines and stuff. I actually think the blaster looks very nice and very intricately detailed, considering the fact that it is shaped like a nugget and it's shaped like a hand cannon from a sci-fi movie from the 70s. And you betcha, when you turn it around, there is absolutely nothing on the other side. No tri-break, no nerf, and no mega, even though all three of those things are embedded into the plastic with the shell molding. Hasbro, for the love of God, paint both sides. Please, please paint both sides. Please start painting both sides on every blaster you put out. Both sides, paint, please, please. But other than that, yeah, the blaster looks just fine. What about the ergonomics? This grip sucks because look at, look at, look at this, look at this. It's wide at the top and thin at the bottom and it feels awful. It feels awful to hold this. Not to mention there's these weird grooves in it that like almost act like finger troils for the tips of your fingers. The Cyclone Shock did this too and it's the weirdest design element I've ever seen. It does not feel comfortable. It feels like crap. This grip is awful, especially for a blaster like this where there isn't too much weight going on. It's just like the ergonomics are worse for the sake of being worse. Why is the grip this bad? I don't understand. As for the priming handle, it's it's a, it's a T-pole. It's small, it's painful, but the T-pole actually pulling down is pretty smooth. The trigger pull is pretty snappy even though plastic leaf springs are the worst things ever. And then there's this trigger in the front. If you haven't guessed what it does, you push it forwards and the blaster falls open. It's a pretty ingenious and pretty simple mechanism that works surprisingly well and it actually feels better to push this forwards than it does to pull the actual trigger because that is just how bad plastic leaf springs are. Imagine that. But how does this blaster work? Well, it's pretty simple. You break it open by pushing it forwards, you can front load three darts into the barrels, and then you can either just close the breech manually or you can do it the fun way, which is actually pretty satisfying, and then shoot off all three. Except, wait a minute, you don't even have to do this. I have pre-prepared three more mega darts. Watch this. Drop them in, push them down. kind of a pain, but yup. You can breach front load this blaster, making the whole gimmick completely useless again. This one, just like the, just like the Thunderhawk, has a completely useless, completely redundant gimmick. <laughs> I would have been able to give this blaster more points if it worked like the barrel break, or when you push it open, you drop the three darts into the barrel and then close it to create a seal. That would have been actually pretty cool. I would have actually really liked that, but you don't. The barrels are here. You front load them. You don't rear load them like an actual like breech break shotgun thing. And because the inner diameter of these barrels are so big, you can easily stick your finger in there and just breech load the darts right through. Granted, it's kind of a pain because there's a gap in there that you have to figure out how to get past, so you probably should push them open, but you don't have to. Now, I will say, it is pretty fun to use the mechanism. It is cool, you, you open it, you put in your three darts, you twist it up to close it, and then you shoot them off. 
but the, it's, it is redundant and it's useless and that entire thing is for emotional response. Granted, you can make the same argument about the Centurion or the Double Breach, but I'm not even going to start with that. Where did that go? So, there is one thing that I can say that is very positive about this blaster, and that is the performance. The performance out of this thing, out of the box, is actually pretty good for a stock Mega Blaster. Granted, you could obviously do better if you were to open it and change out the spring and stuff like that, but just for being a stock Mega Blaster that has three shots and is basically the equivalent of a Mega Triad that is absolutely massive, though if, if you cut off this front part, the blaster actually is pretty small and has the same proportions and shape as the Elite 2.0 Trio. Coincidence, I think not. It's pretty good in terms of performance. So yeah, this was heavily criticized all the way from release up until this very day. I bought it brand new back when it first came out just because I actually really like the barrel breaking gimmick, even if it is useless. It's still fun to do and it offers more of an emotional response than just front loading three barrels. It's kind of the same effect as the Mega Magnus. You don't have to have a three dart magazine. They could have just done a three dart smart AR the gun shotgun thing, but instead they put a, instead they did an internal magazine. This is kind of similar. They did a breach barrel barrel break thing, which is pretty cool, even if ultimately useless. I do think that the hate for this thing is a little bit more than it really deserves because, come be honest, the Mega Series isn't about being practical in the first place. The most practical blaster in the whole series only shoots 20 darts. So yeah, pick your poison here. The blaster is actually pretty nice for what it's doing. The grip just sucks, and it is, it is massive, and it only shoots three darts. If you want to buy one, I'll link it in the description below if they're still selling it. I'm not sure. With that said, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.